Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. Following the law of indices from a over b raised to power n, which is also equals to a raised to power n over b raised to power n. Then what we have here can be written as k raised to power 6 over 3 raised to power 6, then equals to 64 on this side then also here we can write 64 as 2 multiply itself this time that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is equals to 2 raised to the power 6 then what we have becomes k raised to the power 6 over 3 raised to the power 6 equals to 2 raised to the power 6 and this is also over 1 here now let's cross multiply and here we have k raised to the power 6 times 1 that's k raised to the power 6 now equals to 2 raised to the power 6 times 3 raised to the power 6 then also here from the law of indices when we have a raised to power n times b raised to power n this also can be written as a times b all raised to power n then here we have k raised to power 6 equals to 2 times 3 all raised to power 6 that is here this gives us k raised to power 6 equals to 6 raised to power 6. Now we can take 6 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and this gives us k raised to power 6 minus 6 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here. That is, we can also write this as k raised to power 3 raised to power 2 minus 6 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 will still be 6. Then equals to zero from here then here we can compare this with a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b into bracket in the open bracket a minus b that is what we have here a equals to k raised to power 3 then b equals to 6 raised to power 3 then this equation here becomes k raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to the power 3 into bracket and also open bracket k raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power 3 close bracket equals to 0 from here which implies here we have two cases which are k raised to the power 3 plus 6 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 or we have k raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 that is solving from the first case here this follows from a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a plus b into bracket then open bracket a square minus a b plus b squared that is here Comparing this with this, what we have becomes k plus 6 into brackets, then open bracket k square minus 6k plus 6 square plus bracket equals to 0 from here. That is the same thing as k plus 6 into brackets, then open bracket k square minus 6k then plus 6 squared that's 36 equals to 0 from here then we also have two cases here we have k plus 6 equals to 0 or we have k square minus 6k plus 36 equals to 0 then on this side we have k equals to minus 6 which is a real solution here. Now, here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 6, and c equals to 36. 
and from the formula which is k equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a what we have here then becomes k equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 36 then over 2 times 1 and when we solve this this gives us k equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 6 plus or minus square root of minus 36 squared that's 36 then minus we consider this as 4 times 36 then over 2 here then we can write this again we have k equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is common here so we have 36 into bracket 1 minus 4 left then over 2 which implies we can write this as k equals to 6 plus or minus root 36 times root 1 minus 4 that's minus 3 then over 2 year we have two common here and this gives us k equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 high over 2 here then 2 cancel each other then we have k equals to 3 plus or minus Solving from the second case, this follows from a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is equals to a minus b into bracket open bracket x squared plus ab plus b squared. Then what we have here follows this, and this gives us k minus 6 into bracket, then open bracket k squared plus 6k and plus 6 squared plus bracket equals to 0 from here that is here we also have two cases we have k minus 6 equals to 0 or we have k squared plus 6k plus 6 squared 36 equals to 0 from here then on this side we have k equals to 6 which is also a real solution now here we have quadratic equation here where a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c equals to 36 and here when we solve this using the formula k equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36 then over 2 times 1 then yeah this same thing as k equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 here yeah, then minus 4 times 36 then over 2 from here which implies we have k equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 comma here yeah, then 1 minus 4 left then over 2 from here
six solutions from here that is we have two real solutions and we have two complex solution here two complex solution here making six solutions together and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe for more videos